most of the atrocities of the 20th century um, were caused by authoritarian regimes. Authoritarian regimes maintain the power over their populaces by controlling the information that those populaces are exposed to. Uh, an obvious example of this is book burning in Nazi Germany, but similar things happened in the Soviet Union, in Maoist China, and also, of course, in Syria and, and northern Iraq in the time that IS was controlling that area. Uh, this was exemplified by George Orwell in 1984 with the idea of the memory hole. That is, an instrument that one can use to destroy evidence of the past. Essentially what we've attempted to do with the Arweave project is to make the memory hole impossible. And we do that by uh, giving the people democratic control over information that is available in their societies. And you can see that there's a very distinct phase of information censorship, redaction and loss um, that again signals the loss of freedoms later. The Birmingham Library Fire, at the time they didn't have digitization of information, so we ended up with um, a, a huge repository of uh, like scientific data and knowledge and everything just being destroyed, but not even maliciously. Humans have been attempting to build systems of long-term data storage for a very, very long time. Well, actually almost forever. We, we tried to use cave walls, and then we tried to use papyrus, and then we tried to use writing, but that didn't work out so well. We've got to the point now where we have uh, systems of decentralized consensus about data that can be used to build that kind of system. Are we provide a mechanism for securing human knowledge in vast quantities in a really efficient way in a place that doesn't have uh, one single point of vulnerability? We created a system that is essentially a global permanent archive uh, that can't be censored or altered by any one regime or individual. The idea is that if you work together at a global level, it's very easy to make a store of data that is replicated in such a way that it truly can't be lost. So we looked at blockchain technology and we saw that blockchains give the fantastic property of allowing large amounts of people in a decentralized network to come to consensus about something. Uh, but unfortunately, every person in the uh, blockchain-based system is required to store all of the data in the network. And this obviously, if for a archive of human history and knowledge isn't going to scale, it won't work. Now, Arweave is a new blockchain technology that focuses on archiving of data. Um, it's the first system of its kind and takes advantages of some new innovations we've made in the, uh, on, on the blockchain technology that allow us to offer some basically unprecedented scaling. We made a, uh, an evolved kind of blockchain that we call a block weave that allows miners in the network to store only a portion of the, of the blocks and to be rewarded for the storage of those blocks, as well as their participation in the hashing competition in the network. One of the first systems that we built on top of the Arweave is a global permanent internet archive. So you can browse around the internet, and as soon as you find a website that you like and you want to be able to refer back to later in its current form, you can tap a simple button and have it added to the system, and then you know that you'll be able to get back to it later. Other decentralized applications are generally quite difficult to work with. They need to be written in a special language that most people aren't very familiar with and the resulting applications are not always the most flexible and strong of applications. Arweave applications on the other hand, because they can be written in any language and they simply use Arweave as a backend, are just as flexible as whatever your favourite programming language is. One of the other applications we'd love to see built on top of the Arweave is essentially a personal legacy preservation system. So, Often when people reach near the end of their lives, they like to put together a small collection of items and uh, memorabilia about their experiences, and maybe journals, that can be passed down to their children and maybe their children's children. But what we're attempting to provide is a system of permanent information storage, so we can provide for people a digital time capsule that allows them to uh, communicate to their ancestors and uh, potentially many generations to come uh, a small token of what their life was. You can find out more about the Arweave project at arweave.org or you can connect with us on Facebook, Reddit, Twitter or really wherever else you like. <laughs>